What's up, Uncle Chael? Hope you and the family doing good on the west side for the gangsters family. A uh, little update on me. You know, I, I think this is going to go down in the garden. I think it, it lines up on the board perfectly. You know, they, they keep making a big deal out of this 30th anniversary show. Then what better way than to give the gift of us the, in Madison Square Garden for the 30th anniversary show in New York? You know, they, they got to stack that car. They, they can't depend on John Jones. And you know better than anyone. He's unreliable. He's unprofessional. He could get popped for steroids. He could do a glass of tequila and, and uh, some booger sugar up his nose. And he might be beating his wife and in jail again. So who better than to have his insurance policy than, than Colby Chaos Covington? The, the guy that just so happens to occupy fourth highest gate in arena history at Madison Square Garden. So... You know, I think that's where it's going to end up playing at, especially, you know, Donald Trump giving his interview at uh, ActCon Turning Points event last weekend, saying that he'll be at the fight. You know, he must have got word from Dana as well. I think that's what they're looking at. But, you know, from my side, I've been ready since day one, since the George fight. I accepted every fight that's been offered my way. You know, first it was Dustin. You know, they wanted to make that fight. They saw the potential in, in, in a big fight there. And, you know, Dustin's a pussy. He's scared. He ran away from the challenge. So, you know, now we know that he's all talk, he's no walk. So, you know, that then it was Chamaya. Then, then you know, I was ready to end the hype with Chamaya, but he's scared. He, he's unprofessional. He's a little dork, you know. He ran away from the division. He's scared to fight, you know. He talks all this big game online, but he don't talk inside the octagon. He don't sign contracts and be a professional. So, you know, the, then that fell through. Then then uh, they wanted the ultimate fighter. I, I accepted ultimate fighter. There's only one person that could take it from me. He took it away from me, Connor. Then it was on to being the backup fighter in London. We saw the, the applause I got there, the people cheering my name. You know, I was the main event that weekend. I got more ratings than Unoriginal and the wet mop of Leon Edward Scissorhand Scott. So, you know, then, you know, he defends the title. Now now they want to switch this London fight night this weekend to a pay-per-view originally. And that's what they told me. That's the last thing Dana told me in Miami when we had dinner. And and uh, Leon didn't want to have a homecoming day. He wanted to rob his fans of a pay-per-view. He thinks they're deserving of this shitty fight night card this weekend. So I feel bad for the fans of London. And then, you know, now the last time I had heard it was August or September from Hunter Campbell. And he's a man of his word. I know he's, you know, the title shot is guaranteed. I know I'm going to get it. There must be something wrong on Leon's side. Maybe he's injured. Maybe something's going on. Maybe he needs a little bit more time to get ready for chaos. But, uh... This fight's going to happen. It, you know, they're not going to put, you know, anything else. You know, they're not going to put this in the desert, you know, in Abu Dhabi. What, what sense does that make? Why not stack this Madison Square Garden card because it's their 30th anniversary show of, you know, that that's the biggest and, and best fight you can do, you know, and you got to have insurance there. You got to put multiple title fights on that card. So, you know, I think it gets done by then. At the latest, I just don't see it being pushed back by December in Vegas. You know, I think he's going to get stripped if it goes any anything beyond that. So, uh, you know, we're ready to go. We stay ready. That's that's the motto. That's the mentality that you taught me training with you at Team Quest and in the Oregon State Wrestling Room. I know how hard you work, and you're always prepared to, to defend the title and, and give the people an entertaining show like we do. So we'll see how it plays out. But uh, I think... Uh, even on Makachev's side coming out, I think that's look, that's Ali, obviously. I think that he's looking a little desperate. I think they don't like what they're being told, and they're trying to interject themselves. But, you know, that fight doesn't make sense. They're not going to tie up two belts in the, in the desert for no reason. You know, they need this end-of-the-year show. It just so happens that, the you know, the media rights are coming to an end at the end of this year. So we know that they're going to want to stack shows and, and get the biggest and best fights out there before they have to do a new media rights deal. So... You know, I'm in good good graces with the UFC because I've said yes every step of the way, Uncle Chael. Just like yourself, you know, never turn down any fights. Anyone, anytime, anywhere. So, we ready to go, baby. We're bringing this belt back to America. This is destiny. You started me on this journey. I'm going to finish it, brother. Hope you're having a good one. Talk to you soon, bro.